Hey, this is a guide for defeating Barbed Terror in Remnant. Barbed Terror is a bullet hell boss with an insane health pool, paired with some of the heaviest damage output in the game. Because of this, he tends to be a huge roadblock for newer players on their first time through courses. The footage shown is using a character with 60 trait points and gear score 20 on Apocalypse. As always, gear score 20 is the most difficult possible iteration of this boss. I'm kind of half-assing this guide because surprisingly, there isn't a whole lot to him. He's got a big weak spot, and you just kind of stand there and shoot it. Barbed Terror's main attacks cause corrosive spikes to fire from the walls all around the player. The spikes stick out of the wall a moment before firing, and are accompanied by a flash and a sound cue. The spikes can fire in a few different patterns, but the key to dodging them is always the same. Be proactive. The spikes usually appear in a wave across the wall. Use the visual and sound cues to tell when a wave is starting, and start running against the flow of the wave. When you get to the edge of the wave, where the spikes are being fired, roll over it with your iframes, and bingo. You're on the other side, and can safely resume attacking. Don't wait until the last second to do this. The longer you wait, the more likely you are to get screwed by timing and are forced to take damage. Barbed Terror also has a few melee attacks, one big delayed slam, and a quick horizontal slash. The slam is very well telegraphed, with a big delay and a lingering hitbox, so only roll when you notice the arm coming down. The horizontal slash comes out very fast, and is accompanied by a sound cue. This one's not so hard to dodge as long as you're paying attention. You fucking kidding me, man? If you stand very close to the boss, he can also do a sweep in front of him. This is a bit slower than the horizontal slash, so try not to panic dodge too quickly. There are two additional attacks worth mentioning. Occasionally, the Barbed Terror will cue a large wave of spikes from directly in front of him all at once. There's a slight delay, as always, so just wait and roll over it. Spikes will also appear and fire from any wall if you get too close, so don't do that. Oh, and at like two-thirds HP, he just collapses for a moment. Pump him with damage while you can. He doesn't go into a phase two after this, everything is exactly the same. Because this boss is just a wall of meat to shoot, as far as gear is concerned, almost anything goes. Maybe avoid using the shotgun due to its terrible range. Take note of your armor's resistance to corrosion. Poor resistance won't invalidate an armor set, but it is something to be aware of. And speaking of resistance, take a green leaf before the fight and have plenty on hand. The boss deals a lot of corrosive damage, so resistance and status immunity can make a very big difference. For mods, Hotshot is stupidly strong as usual. Barbed Terror has a slight weakness to fire, so this will compound with the damage increase from the mod itself. Mods like Flicker Cloak are good if you need to revive a teammate in co-op, or if you just need a breather. And of course, Veil of the Black Tear is once again breaking boss fights in half by protecting the player from all outside projectiles. This boss isn't really any fun if you use this, but hey, that's your own choice to make. Any summoning mods should probably be avoided for this fight, because they can't hit the boss very easily, and they're just gonna get shredded by the spikes. Any traits or trinkets related to weak spot damage are also pretty valuable. His head is very big, and very visible for the entire fight, so you can hit it very, very consistently, and cash in on that weak spot bonus. Ring of Evasion is also quite valuable because of its enormous boost to iframes, making it very easy to roll over the flying spikes. One last thing I intentionally omitted until the end of this video, if you stand in the center of the arena, like really close to the boss, most of the spikes coming out of the walls will miss you. The only attacks you need to worry about are the melee attacks and any spikes coming out directly in front of you. All the ones coming out of the sides will miss. This strat is boring, and I hate it. That's all the advice I have for you today, for taking on Barbed Terror. Hopefully this guide will help you if you're having trouble. If you have additional questions, leave a comment and I'll reply to it if I ever get notified. Thanks for watching.